Welcome to the Kanban University Distinguished Fellow Program. I'm Todd Little, Chairman of Kanban University, and the today I have the privilege of introducing Demetar Karivanov. So Demetar, congratulations. Welcome. Thank you for uh, showing up and um, uh, agreeing to talk to us about um, your situation with uh, how you've become uh, involved in Kanban. Uh, would you first be able to tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Todd. Thanks a lot for having me here, and I'm, I'm totally privileged uh, to be nom nominated for um, for this, so thank you very much. Uh, quickly about myself, my name is Dimitar. Uh, I'm from Bulgaria, and I'm uh, the CEO and one of the founding members of Kanbanize. We've been um, a KU partner for a long time now. I don't I don't even know how many years. Uh, we are totally excited about Kanban as a method for managing work. And professionally, this is the, the most significant um, piece about myself. I'm a computer scientist, uh, an engineer, and uh, soon to be a, a father. <laughs> so quite exciting. Oh, congratulations on that as well. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, can you tell us how you were introduced to Kanban originally? Sure. It was in 2010, I think. Uh, I was part of Software AG's Digital Transformation, and I was one of the people who got nominated to be a change agent. I'm not sure you get nominated by all these things, or you just are a change agent, but I was one of the people that worked on this, and I, I was uh, in the US getting a training from, uh, I think it was a company called Gamba Academy or something like that. Mr. Ashley Johnson, if you're watching, it was you who told me about Kanban. Uh, it was a, an instant click. I was struggling with Scrum at the time. And we were a service, a service team, performance engineering team, working with many other teams, being a shared service, you know, Scrum and shared service, it's, it's a difficult thing. So when I learned about Kanban, it was an instant click for me. And from then on, I never looked back. Oh, excellent. I know John, uh, actually a great guy. He's uh, been, been involved in the early days. Um, yeah. So in your experience, so you've been around for a while um, and been through as a partner here. How have you seen Kanban and the Kanban community evolve over the past 10 years? As this is now the 10th anniversary of Kanban University. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a ride. One thing that I, I always appreciate about the community is that uh, we get so many brilliant people that always contribute with more and more um, to, to complete the body of knowledge of Kanban. I mean, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, it, it wasn't what it is today. And I think a, a great deal of this achievement shall be contributed to the community. So this is definitely um, a great piece. But Kanban University is definitely um, a trusted partner for us. and we will do whatever we can to help you guys grow. Well, thank you very much. Um, so not many people outside of Bulgaria know that you're a famous uh, reality TV celebrity. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about how you were able to use Kanban uh, at, during your time on the show. Tell us a little bit about the show as well. Yeah, that was a, a great PR stunt uh, about Kanban and Kanbanize. Uh, this show is called The Farm. And part of the show is that every week, the participants, like 24 people, they have a lot of projects to work on, which are actually building the farm. Like build this or put something on this wall, uh, create uh, these two doors and put them on, on, on the walls and a lot of tasks and a lot of projects. And when you have 20 plus people who don't know each other, <laughs> You know, collected and, and given a lot of projects to work on, it's, it's typically a, a chaos and you can't easily manage that. And there's one farmer who's ultimately responsible for everything to be created um, this week in, in the farm. And if everything is good, people actually get food and can eat. But if the projects are not done well, uh, they get half the food or no food or just the, the main um, products, the main ingredients. So it's very important for the farmer to, to get everything done. 
And uh, I think in the second week of the show, I, I got to be the farmer and I introduced the physical Kanban board, which was um, basically a big pile of straw, like the dry grass or it's called straw, right? And there are ropes, three ropes through the, through the straw. And we were taking some sticky notes between the straw and the ropes. And we were moving the sticky notes from left to right. It was the most improvised Kanban board you'd ever seen, uh, but it worked. It really worked. In the third week, the next farmer got really hooked on the idea. We created a better Kanban board. This was, it was wooden this time. It's like a real board. And uh, from then on, most of the farmers actually used this method to manage the projects in the farm. I think only one or two farmers out of like 16 did not use this method, which was a, a it was an experiment. I wanted to see without forcing onto people, is it going to stick? And it, it did stick, which was great. And it was on national TV, like, so everybody in Bulgaria knows what Kanban is. <laughs> That's fantastic. Great publicity and also great demonstration of evolutionary change and, and, and stickiness as well. So. That's awesome. So, yeah. so you're done with the farm now. Um, what are you doing uh, with Kanban now? What's, what's the big thing? Um, well, our goal with Kanban and Kanbanize is to be a leader in, in our space. So we are heavily, heavily involved in uh, product development with Kanbanize. We have a lot of ideas. We know where the product should go. Uh, we know what the biggest pain points of our clients are. We work very closely with them and uh, we basically uh, do our best to 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 to, to turn kanbanize into a synonym for kanban software so when it when people say kanban they need to think of kanbanize in terms of software of course not just the whole thing but kanban software means kanbanize this is our goal and we've been doing this for 10 years now we also had a, our 10th anniversary <laughs> like a few months ago, so this is our uh, this is our goal. Really, really create the best the best possible software for Kanban out there. Oh, thank you. Um, so, as you've been around and you've seen the Kanban community, what do you value most about the Kanban University community? Uh, I already mentioned that we have so many brilliant people, always contributing new ideas, uh, new learnings. We had, well, pre-COVID, we had a lot of events and I always enjoyed meeting you guys in person. It's always fun, uh, always a lot of laugh. Uh, well, maybe a few drinks here and there uh, to promote laughing uh, across, uh, you know, the community. Uh, but um, yeah, this is the learnings I get, the people I get to meet. Uh, this is the most exciting part for the community. And uh, I think we should just do our best to keep it growing as fast as we can. Well, great. Thank you for your comments. Thanks again and congratulations for being named a distinguished, uh, a Kanban University Distinguished Fellow. Uh, really appreciate your time today. Thanks, Todd. It was real fun. Thank you. Have, have a great day. Cheers.